How's it going, everybody? My name is Jim, and welcome to FSD Driver. Today, we're driving on the second update of FSD 12.6.3 on a Hardware 3 Model Y. Now, there has been two versions of this update. The first time it came out, the car has been absolutely terrible. And on the second update, Tesla has addressed all of these, at least in the notes, but I have not seen any improvement. So the problems that people are facing is the car is not accelerating accelerating. It's not keeping or maintaining a speed in city streets. It's also not handling stop signs very well anymore. It is handling the highways a lot better, but there are still issues what you will actually see in this video. So what I'm going to do is speed everything up for you guys to save time, and then we will go over the interventions that we have on this drive. So we are coming up on our first intervention. This light is supposed to control traffic. Our car ignores it. And so this is me stepping on the accelerator. It's happened many times. So I know at those lights, I basically just have to take over. And then once I manually move into my lane, I will put FSD back on. So our second intervention here is the car is moving over into a paid lane. This is supposed to be for those people who have the express pass. I do not have that. You'll notice it will pass those two cars and it will try to merge back over, but it cannot complete the merge. The reason being is because there is a double dashed white line and those are definitely defeating the system in this version. So I have to drive it in manual and then I do put FSD back on. Coming up on our third intervention, we have another solid white line on the road here. So the car refuses to merge over. And so we have to break it out of FSD and we are going to move it over. And then we're just going to manually move it over into the next lane as well. And then we will put FSD back on. I've noticed that a lot with this version. It doesn't matter city, street, highway. As long as it's not just a dashed white line, it, the car really struggles to move over over anything solid, anything double dashed, anything with a double uh, lane. Sometimes it used to cut over at the last second. It now refuses to do that. And so it's become quite an issue. So this point in the video, we're not actually coming up on an intervention, but notice my speed limit. We are 81 miles an hour in a 60, and there is actually a police officer, state trooper to my left. I can see him, and so I frantically start scrolling down on my wheel to lower the acceleration, but this actually brought up a couple things that I noticed in my comments from my last videos. One gentleman said that it should be illegal that Tesla allows people to 
knowingly break the law by going over the speed limit with an offset based off of the actual speed limit. And they brought up a couple good points, but the point I brought back up to them was, well, shouldn't it be illegal for car manufacturers to actually have their cars go over 100 miles an hour since there's no post markings in the US that I know of that are 100 miles an hour. Most of them stop at like 85 and that's it. I don't think I've ever seen a 90 mile an hour postmark for a speed limit, but I could be wrong. Um, I think this is just something uh, that needs to maybe be looked at or maybe be addressed. Maybe the offset can't be that high. Also, I've never noticed in previous versions that the car would allow you to go 80 miles an hour in FSD. It would basically just like take you out of FSD if you were going that fast. And so, yeah, I'd be very interested. Uh, I've never witnessed it myself. Maybe others have, but leave in the comments below. What do you guys think about that? I think it's actually a pretty good point. And maybe it should be like officially addressed by Tesla that, hey, you know, your car, we are making it go over the speed limit and you're knowingly allowing it to do so. So again, Tesla's not responsible for any tickets you may uh, get or acquire. And so, yeah, just keep an eye out for that. At that point back there, I wasn't paying attention. Both my kids are in the back seat. We're watching airplanes basically fly overhead next to the airport. But the one thing I wanted to mention for those of you who have never really drove a Tesla, especially a Model X or like a Cybertruck, even in the Y, not so much in the 3, but there is so much visualization going on because the window is big, the, the top roof is glass, it's just very wide, and so it's very easy to go over the speed limit, but it doesn't seem like you're actually speeding unless you look down at your odometer and then you're like, wow, I'm actually going 70 miles an hour because it's just such a blank car, there's no buttons, there's just this screen and these wide open views with glass everywhere. It just always feels like you're going slower than what you actually are. And so I've noticed that many times where the speed just kind of gets away from me. And it never happened in other cars that I've owned. It happens in my Y. It happened in a, an X a couple times where I'm like, I feel like I'm going slow, but really it's just the visualization of everything. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.